All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video, a little update on what's going on in Ninerland. All right, it's Pig and a Pickle, two locations, Corda Madera and Emeryville. They're open seven days a week in both spots from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Go say hi to Damon and Mary and tell them that Larry Kruger sent you. And this video is also brought to you by Sharp Corner Sports Cards and Collectibles, 205 Cypress Avenue in Pacific Grove, California. Give Anthony Catania a call. He's at 831-521-5264 for all your collectibles and sports uh, sports cards needs. Uh, go check out sharp corner sports cards and collectibles in along the Monterey Peninsula. All right, let's talk a little bit about the 49ers. A number of interesting notes coming out on the Niners today. Um, it was announced the Niners are going to hold a joint practice in Irvine, California, when uh, prior to their preseason game against the New Orleans Saints. Now, we don't know for sure exactly which week of the preseason um, this, uh, the Niners saints game will be, but it's likely to be week two of the preseason. So prior to that preseason game, the Niners and the saints will hold joint practices in Irvine, California, and the Niners can reacquaint themselves with chase young. Who's now a member of the new Orleans saints. And this is according to Jeff Duncan, who's reporting this for the new Orleans times Picune. So Niners and Saints in the preseason for the first time, maybe ever. I, I don't remember the Niners playing the Saints in the preseason ever. Uh, and prior to it, they will practice head-to-head -head in Irvine down in Southern California. Well, we're getting the schedule leaks little, but in dribs and drabs, and it sounds like the schedule will be officially be released on the 15th, um, which is uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow, Wednesday, this will be announced. But it came out today that on September 9th, the Niners are going to open the year on Monday Night Football at Levi's against Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets. Uh, so that will be the week one uh, Monday Nighter. I think it will be part of a doubleheader. We'll see. Usually they go doubleheader in week one. But Niners Jets, they're trying to look for that big TV audience. And will you know will it be an earlier start time for the New York audience? Will it be a later start time for the West Coast audience? We'll we'll see. Uh, but usually the the uh, NFL goes uh, with a a combination a a do a you know a double header on Monday Night Football to start the season. So September 9th, the Niners and Brock Purdy go against Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets at Levi Stadium to begin the uh, the season. So that should be interesting. Get the Jets in week one. Now, the Niners also make a couple moves today. They signed offensive tackle Chris Hubbard, who's a 33-year-old offensive tackle who played for the Tennessee Titans. He started nine games this year. Uh, Jeremy Fowler of ESPN is reporting that it's a one-year deal for $1.3 million. So Hubbard is the newest 49er. Um, he had a, in 2023, he had a blown block percentage of 3.2%. Um, Colton McKivitt's blown block percentage for 2023 was 4%. So he's got a higher or a better, I should say, blown block percentage than McKivitt's. Hubbard in 23 also had zero penalties. He did allow four sacks on the year. So now at least the Niners have some veteran competition there for Colton McKivitt's. They didn't touch or address offensive tackle in the draft at all. Uh, Trent Williams will be the starter at left tackle once again for the 49ers if he's healthy. And so that means that um, Hubbard and McKivitz, as well as Jalen Moore and the veteran Brandon Parker, uh, and maybe even Dominic Pooney will compete for that right tackle spot along the 49er offensive line. Hubbard's a 10-year vet. Um, he started 68 games in his career. He played four years with Pittsburgh, uh, five years with Cleveland, and then this last year with the Tennessee Titans. So he is the newest 49er um, and we'll see what he looks like this summer. And it's good to see some veteran uh, competition there at offensive tackle. Now, yesterday, the 49ers signed defensive tackle Shaquel Brown, um, who was at their, at their workout at minicamp. Um, and this is an interesting player, 6'2", 295, 295-pound uh, defensive tackle. He had 32 tackles, six tackles for loss, four sacks, um, and one forced fumble in 13 games in college in 2022. He played at Troy State 
in Alabama. Um, he went to the JUCO route. He went to both uh, Itawamba Community College as well as uh, Highlands Community College. He was an undrafted college free agent, uh, and the Titans, um, you know, signed him. And then he had an ankle injury in the 2023 preseason, and they put him on season ending IR and eventually would waive him on May the 7th. The reason Brown is so interesting is at 295 pounds, he has a great shuttle time, and he also ran 4.92 in the 40. He also put up 30 reps at 225. He looked phenomenal at the uh, mini camp. I mean, we're talking about a guy who's 295 pounds and pretty ripped. Um, so the 49ers have a need at defensive tackle, and they want to have as many quality defensive tackles in camp when they get it going in July. And Shaquille Brown um, might have a chance to make the team. He definitely has movement ability. He had a really good shuttle time. As I said, he ran sub 5 0 in the 40 at 492 at 295 pounds. And he's very strong with 30 reps at 225. So this is a guy who didn't play. He, he was a basketball player. He didn't play um, football, I don't believe, until the, his junior year of high school. So he's always been kind of chasing it from behind. He's been a little raw throughout the process, but he really flashed a lot of talent and a lot of athleticism at Troy State and then looked phenomenal in the in the minicamp workout that um, the Niners conducted just last week. And so they signed him this week, and we'll see. He's in that mix with Kalia Davis, Kevin Givens, and, of course, Javon Hargrave will draw the start at defensive tackle, most likely Malik Collins, Jordan Elliott's in this mix. So the Niners are trying to bulk up and and kind of uh, you know make their defensive tackle rotation a little deeper. And they may have found a real good player here in Shaquille Brown. There's no question he moves exceptionally well and has demonstrated huge strength and as I said, he was pretty. He looked pretty ripped at the uh, at the 49er minicamp, and they signed him. So we will see him this summer in Santa Clara. And one last note: uh, Josh Williams has been promoted uh, within the Niner organizations to the to, in, organization to the director of scouting and football operations. He joined the 49ers in 2011. He's been with them for a number of years in different capacities in their player personnel department. Uh, going from regional scout up to director of scouting and football operations. Um, I know Josh a little bit because uh, he went to my high school. He's a San Ignatius grad, um, and I'm always a little partial to San Ignatius grads. But either way, Josh is a really nice guy. He's a good guy, and I think he's a pretty good evaluator. So good move for the 49ers promoting from within. A lot of people feel like Josh Williams is a hot name in GM circles and will be promoted to be a general manager um, at some point in the future, will it take a year, two years, five years, 10? I don't know, but this is a smart guy who graduated not only from San Ignatius, but also from Columbia university with a bachelor's in psychology. So smart guy, good guy, and, um, has worked up, up through the ranks in the 49er personnel department. And now he is the new director of scouting and football operations. So congratulations to Josh. Um, for for that, and I'm sure he will be an outstanding NFL GM uh, when he's given that chance at some point down the road. All right, that does it for your 49er update. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug Show. Thanks to Sharp Corner Sports Cards and Collectibles in Monterey for sponsoring this video. Give Anthony Catania a call at 831-521-5264. And thanks to all of you guys for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.